Today we'll show you how to make a John style halo glow in the dark wheel for your bike. So first I cut out a few plastic rings from thin sheets of plexiglass. I made a couple of videos earlier to show you how to cut plexiglass and link is in the description. I'm going to use glow in the dark paint to paint these rings. Again link to the video in the description if you want to learn how to make glow in the dark paint. In order for the paint to stick well to the plastic rings, I use a sander to roughen it up. And I'm going to paint it on one side only. It's a clear piece of plastic, so when it glows in the dark, you can see it on both sides. I use two bottles of nail polish for each ring. Each bottle covers one layer, and I have two layers on it. Each bottle is 13 milliliter in volume and it contains about 5 grams of glow in the dark powder. So for each ring, I use about 10 grams of glow in the dark powder. So here it is. I got two layers of paint on it. I've gone through two bottles of nail polish. Each bottle has 4 gram of strontium aluminate powder. And next, I'm going to use some uh, Clos Clear spray paint and uh, give it a couple more layers because right now it's pretty rough. So, uh, this is going to make it look uh, nice and shiny. It also protects the uh, glow in the dark paint from being scratched. So here it is nice and glossy after the clear spray paint. That way it will protect the glow in the dark paint underneath. If you're curious about the size of the area I'm painting, it's the formula and uh, it is 847 square centimeter. Big R is radius of big circle, small r radius of the small circle. To mount the rings onto the wheel, I drill two holes for each spoke and use a cable tie to tie it to the wheel spokes. You don't have to tie it to every single spoke. I only tie it to the spokes on the side I mount the ring on only. I find it easier if you just drill the holes after you paint the rings. That way you can accurately drill and mount the cable ties that fit tightly to the spokes. If you drill the holes too far apart, it will allow the ring to move around and that makes it flimsy. And this was the mistake I made on the front wheel. You can see the distance between the holes is far apart. And here's the back wheel where the distance between the holes are closer. And therefore the cable tie can wrap it more tight. To light up the uh, glow in the dark rings, I'm going to use these ultraviolet LEDs. This LED runs at 3.7 volts and they are ready at 3 watts each. I'll put two in parallel to power each ring. If you don't have these uh, ultraviolet LED, I guess you can use regular LEDs as well, but white light is not as powerful as ultraviolet light. And white light is too bright, and it would not make your glow in the dark ring stand out. In contrast, the ultraviolet LED emits more energy, therefore the glow in the dark powder can absorb it more efficiently. And the ultraviolet light is barely visible. So that will make your glow in the dark powder stand out even more. This is the battery pack that I'm gonna use to power the LED. This is a 1S6P battery pack that has six cells in parallel. So the output will still be about four volts, but they have six times more runtime. Because the LED runs at about 3.7 volts. And uh, my battery runs at 4.2 volts, at least when it's fully charged. I'm going to have to install a resistor to uh, lower the voltage uh, a little bit to match with the LED voltage. So I'm going to use a calculation derived from Ohm's law. And my optimal resistor is calculated to be about half Ohm. So to be safe, I'm going to use a 2 ohm resistor.
and uh, with this resistor my LED will run at even a lower voltage than the optimal resistor so it will be even safer to run for my LED right so I'm almost done with my wiring here and uh, let me show you what I got here's the battery pack and it's gonna be in this back on the front this wire is gonna be connected to my battery it goes down here to this switch so I can turn on and off the LED and then from here it's split into two sections one to the front and one to the back so the front is gonna power these two LEDs and then light up my ring on the front and the couple of wires that go to the back is gonna light up the uh, couple of LEDs on the back to light up my back LED show you how I mount this LED the double sided tape on the back I stick it on the frame and make sure it's center directly onto the ring shine directly on the ring And you can see the LED sticks on really well to further secure I'm just gonna use zip tie just like that Now let's try it and see if it works. There we go. So there you have it, glow in the dark tron wheels for your bike. Not only does it glow brightly with ultraviolet light, it continues to glow even when I turn off the ultraviolet LED. And in this case with strontium illuminate, it will continue to glow for hours before it would slowly fade away. So basically besides bioluminescence, it is one of the most efficient lighting there is only if it was a little bit brighter. Alright, so that's all I have for now, and I'll see you next time.